What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to WWE 2K20 AI Universe Mode. This is Smackdown Week 11. Coming to you from Birmingham, Alabama. Right after the uh, clusterfuck that was Winterfest. But nonetheless, kicking off SmackDown Week 11, we've got the man, Becky Lynch, who is no longer the SmackDown Women's Champion, losing the title to Nikki Cross. And she will be going one-on-one. -on -one. With a re-debut, I suppose, formerly known as Emma, it is Tennille Dashwood, and she is one of my top crushes. <laughs> she she is she, she's hot. Anyways, so um, Tennille definitely a wild card in this one, but Becky Lynch has uh overcome worse obstacles. I'm sure this one could go either way. Here we go, Lynch Dashwood. One on one. The man is in the building. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, Becky. From Australia, T. Neil Dashing. Guys, this. There we go. T. Neil hasn't been in a WWE ring for years. Uh, she was wrongfully released, might I add. Becky Lynch Just my opinion. <clears throat> but Becky Lynch going up against a wild card. T. Neil Dashwood going up against the, the two time women's champion. Either way, Thus far, the man is ready for action. Anything can happen. This Birmingham crowd as this one gets underway. They're deafening. It's Becky taking control of the arm. Tripping up Dashwood. Becky Lynch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I agree, Graves. Uh-oh. Lynch starting the damage on the arm. Always looking to lock in the disarmor and get a submission victory. <clears throat> that is a great reversal. Bringing down Lynch. Oh, Becky Seems coming like right back. Will not lose ball. control, but Tanil refuses as well. And there's a clothesline clobbering Becky. Oh, this is what's this gonna be? Now Tanil with the wheelbarrow face buster. But oh, Becky the with the Enziguri. Lifting dash. I'm, I'm gonna fuck up and call her Emma at some point. I can just feel it. <clears throat> Becky now delivering the strikes off the ropes. No. Dashwood with the fireman's carry. And the old oh, inverted DD. Or DDT. Thank you, Byron. You actually corrected me for once. Inverted suplex. Going for a scoop slam. And Becky delivering the DDT. And this crowd here in Birmingham standing ovation for these women. And look at that, using the ropes to damage the arm. Off the ropes, leg drop, and the spinning leg drop. Vintage Becky Lynch, but she's going for a quadruple pull and drop and she hits it. <clears throat> uh oh, uh oh, Lynch! Lynch has the disarmor locked in! 
Dashwood not able to reach the ropes. But Tennille able to escape. Off the ropes. Oh! Real bad suplex, and you saw Lynch's head and neck just whip into the mat on that front drop kick. Hook in the arms. And the butterfly suplex connects. And the. Uh, I. It's the tort. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know a nickname for to know. Kick to the gut. DDT spiking Lynch. <clears throat> for the drop kick. Lynch moving out of the way. Oh, Jesus. The firearm. Yet another and then a calf kick. One step ahead of each other. Becky got her second win. Shot to the midsection. But Becky moves. catches the like foot and the step through court. heel kick. As Dashwood by the back of the neck here. Into the turnbuckle. And the springboard kick sending to Neil to the outside and keep in mind it is a 20 count and I will only allow one count out victory per show so I'll let these women stay outside the ring as long as they want to oh yeah and I added the camera cuts too so you can actually see oh look at the power by Dashwood doing squats with Lynch in a suplex position and back first on the floor I hate this camera angle when I'm actually playing, but when it's AI, it's a lot better. <clears throat> Lifting to kneel to your feet, but catching the boot into the German suplex. Dragging Lynch to the center of the ring. And Dashwood, uh-oh, looking for the Muda lock. Wrenching back on Becky's head. Is Lynch? Is it over? Oh, oh, oh! No! Did you see how close Lynch was to tapping there? Into the shoulder. And Snake Eyes face first in the turnbuckle. Becky getting fired up here. Oh, didn't think she got all that clothesline. There we go, clothesline. A second one. And the calf kick. Becky really is getting fired up. And there's a clothesline taking Lynch down. Now Dashwood, Jesus. Lifting Lynch up by, only by her head. Going for the kick to the gut, but Lynch steps through. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Now Becky sizing up to Neil to put this one away. Kick to the gut and manhandle slam. Knockout victory. Here is your winner, Becky and after losing that SmackDown women's title, Lynch desperately needed that win, but so did Tennille, losing her debut match here in 2K20. And we are moving on in the evening, and up next we have Matt and Jeff the Hardy Boys going up against the Brian Kendrick and Gentleman Jack Gallagher tag team action. Here comes Team Extreme.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 461 pounds, Mac Hardy and Jeff Hardy, the Hardy Boys. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 341 pounds, the Brian Kendrick and gentlemen Jack Gallagher. We're just moments away from the. And here we go. Matt Hardy and Brian Kendrick starting off this match. And I said it on the last episode of Raw, the tag matches are still screwed up. They refuse to walk over their partners and make a tag instead. The only way we're going to see Jeff or Gallagher get involved in the match is if someone gets a hot tag. But there's nothing I can really do about it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful move by the man with the plan. Oh, Dr. Teeth. Who uses Dr. Teeth? These 2K games are the only place I've seen that move. Oh, Matt missing there. And it's going to cost him German suplex. Oh, did you hear that echo from that Enziguri? Can't believe what I'm seeing. Whoa, Matt Hardy dodged that one. He Matt Hardy coming back with the arm drag. Hooking up Kendrick. Snap suplex. Into the Russian leg sweep. Matt staying right on Kendrick, giving him no room to breathe. And another Russian leg sweep. And Kendrick needs to do something soon. The better their chances of winning will be. Snapmare and the bionic elbow. Kendrick is getting the hell beaten out of him. DDT. Matt is not going to let Kendrick get over that corner. Oh my god, dude. Matt is not playing around here tonight. And the side effect. Cover. One. Two, and a kick out by Kendrick, but Jeff with the leaping clothesline to the back of the neck of Jack Gallagher. Oh my god, Kendrick missed, and twist of fate. <clears throat> Cover, but Gallagher right there to break it up. Kendrick, I'm honestly surprised Kendrick wasn't knocked out right there. Now, the abdominal stretch locked in. Gallagher breaking it up. Oh, shot to, cheap shot to the spine and the inverted DDT putting Matt down. And the tag in comes Jeff Hardy. Kendrick needs to get a tag to Gallagher as soon as humanly possible. Delete! Delete! Oh, Kendrick rolling out of the way. Head scissors. But look, see, he's not going to go for the tag. Even though he's literally going to get knocked out. Jesus, what a big boot. That'll not party. Oh, and then a super kick. He really is trying to knock Jeff's face paint right off his face. And a headbutt. Kendrick now the one going full steam ahead. And another super kick. These two teams came out here tonight to just beat the hell out of each other. Oh, has the leg and oh, shots right to the knee, to the side of the knee where it's tender. And Kendrick now, oh, full Nelson applied. Yeah, Jeff being the bigger man, not too hard to escape that. Kendrick with the reversal, lock up. And Jeff with the Huracarana. Really needs to get to the corner and make a tag. Otherwise, this match may be over sooner than later. Oh, he was so close. And it's over. Twist. No, it's not. No knockout, but a cover. One, 
Two! No, Galar barely breaks it up. Uh-oh, Kendrick in perfect position. And Jeff Swanton for the knockout. Him, 2K fix the AI in the tag matches. Like, literally, I don't understand because the AI, when I first started, when the game was, like, fucked up as hell, they would actually walk over and make a tag. But months later, now they won't. Like, oh, my God. Anyways, Hardy Boys with a victory nonetheless, and we are moving on in the evening. And up next, we... <gasps> We've got another debut. It's the big red inspiration Kane going one on one with Mr. 619 Ray Mysterio. And let me tell you, people, me and Zach both love Kane to death. Literally, anyone who has Instagram who is watching this, uh, uh, Glenn Jacobs is his Instagram name. Go to his Instagram and just look. Like, 90% of the pictures are him, like, reading to school children, and, like, he he is smiling in every single picture. He's not a demon. He's an inspiration. And it's time for his debut. Here we go. Kane, one-on-one -on -one with Rey Mysterio. The devil's favorite demon. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown. Weighing in at 323 pounds. realized this is hands down a David versus Goliath match. Ray once again failing, I don't know if once again, but he failed to capture the United States Championship at Winterfest. And if he can uh, get the victory in a David versus Goliath match, it would be huge for him, but fuck that! Kane for the win and running power slam! Kane's strength is only outweighed by his fury. You do not want to get on his bad side. Oh, snap, man. Really Look at the quickness of Kane. Oh, big big boot. boot. Jesus. Kane making a statement Mysterio as not looking Kane too good thus far. And stun gun. We'll see if he can sustain the effort. It's the size and power, man. Fast. Mysterio's going to have a hard time in this. No, no. Belly to belly. Oh, planting Ray. He's looking a little off balance. But here comes Mysterio with a jawbreaker and Kane moving out of the way of the kick. But Ray blocking the back elbow. And oh, what power! Northern Lights in a bridge, but that was a rope break. Jesus! No way! Mysterio! That's two! Look. And Mysterio hitting the three amigos on Kane. What power. And now Ray, vintage Ray with the sunset bomb. Now Kane using the ropes to help himself to his feet. But Mysterio with a backbreaker, knee right to the spine. Unbelievable 
And Ray tilt a whirl arm bar. And it's, oh, I thought Kane might have had the rope break, but it doesn't matter. He just chucks Mysterio off like it's nothing. Now back first into the turnbuckle and toss to the mat. That's a good way to make your presence felt. And Ray for a Corona. Headlock applied. Set out jawbreaker. Thank you, Cole, for saying that at the exact same time as me and Ray getting Birmingham hyped up. Oh my god, guys. Shoulder. Please don't! No! Power bomb to the floor! Why would you hurt Kane like that? And a leaping DDT. Please stop. Please stop hurting Kane. Man, Mysterio just must have got absolutely pissed and it fired him up or something. I don't know. Another sit-out jawbreaker connects. Kick to the gut. DDT. Kane has got to do something, man. Ray onto the apron. No forearm shot to the face, and Ray with the oh, going for the springboard senton, but he hurts his cheeks. Kane going for the kick to the gut, Mysterio with the dragon screw. Not this time. Now in full control. And another DDT. I don't know where he gets the energy, but I'd love to have some. Going for the Enzigari Kane, able to move out of the way. Once again, off the ropes, big boot. Uh-oh, Kane with that claw hold. It could be all over for Ray. Suffocating Mysterio. But, oh, look at Ray. Oh, snaps the arm back. And Ray onto the shoulders. Uh-oh. Dialing it up. 619. Cover. One, two, three. Ray with the victory. Damn it. It's okay, Kane. I still love you. Here's what won the match for the biggest little man in WWE history. Here is your winner, This was another great Mr. 619 racking up yet another victory. We are moving on in the evening, and we have a third and final debut. We've got the five-time World Heavyweight Champion Booker T. And he is, God, I got a burp. He is going one on one with the current European champion, the Icon Sting. Talk about a WCW throwback here. And these two men know each other so well. It's anyone's ball game. And imagine how huge it would be for Booker to beat the European champion in his debut match. Will he do it? We're about to find out. Booker T one on one with Sting. Here comes Booker T. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Houston, Texas. Weighing in at 251 pounds, Booker T. I can't believe he's here. On a mission of justice.
There we go. It has been I don't I don't know if we've ever seen Booker T at least the past calls him dangerous two to like 2k19 no one had Booker I don't think 2k18 anyone had Booker so this is like I think the first time we're seeing him since AI universe mode which is crazy ah, sorry I had to fix my headset <clears throat> snap suplex by Booker Oh, the arm wrench heel kick, and the Harlem, the Harlem something, and Sting has, indeed, bloodied from that one, and a, another arm wrench kick, what is that called, the Harlem side kick, something like that, I don't know, kick to the gut. Yep, kick to the gut, and the neck breaker connects, and Booker T is rocking Sting, has already busted the champion open. Sting looking like he is not doing too well here. <clears throat> and again, Jesus Christ. That's supposed to be a pinky, Booker, that was your pointer finger. Now Booker looking to suplex Sting back into the ring, but the icon with the gourd buster and Sting needs to make... Oh my god, he just kicked him right in the top of the head. Onto the shoulders. Shut up, Cole. Samoan drop. <clears throat> One shot, two shots, and three shots right to the face. Combos that into the vertical suplex. Sting getting his shit in now. And again with the punch combination. Snapmare. And the... That's how you wear down your opponent. The... Fucking visual anti tort God, I suck at nicknames. Zach, I need you to help me come up with nicknames. Why are you not here? Kitchen sink to the gut. Looking Booker to his feet, going for the backhand. Booker with the backbreaker. Right to the spine. Oh, Booker headed to the high rent district. Oh, and the Harlem Hangover! What a beautiful move. One, two, and Sting with the kick out. And Booker T looking to put the champion away. Kick to the gut. We know what's coming. Scissor kick knockout. Booker T with the victory over the champion in his debut match. I mean, did you hear that echo when Booker's heel caught the back of Sting's neck, man? That says it. Oh, wait! Spinneroni! Congratulations to Booker T, and we are moving on to the main event of the evening. We have the leader of Forgotten Sanity, Eric Young, being joined at ringside by Killian Dane and Jackson Riker of Forgotten Sanity. Going one on one with your new United Kingdom champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. And we just had a WCW throwback match, so we might as well have a TNA throwback match. Here we go. Your main event of SmackDown Week 11, Eric Young, one on one with the United Kingdom champion, AJ Styles.
the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Sanity from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 232 pounds. Eric Young! Eric Young. The phenomenal AJ Styles. And his opponent from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Phenomenal, AJ Styles! There we go, huge opportunity for Eric Young, and I think it might be Eric Young's debut in 2K20 as well, that's... If that's the case, that is four debuts, and look how ripped Jackson Riker is out there. <clears throat> Anyways, yes, Styles defeating Shinsuke Nakamura for the UK title in a steel cage at Winterfest. He is riding a high right now. But Eric Young, as you know, thrives on chaos. Uh-oh, Styles with the phenomenal blitz. And AJ, as cocky as ever. Can you blame him? Stomping a mud hole on Eric Young. Lock up. Oh man, Young gets out of the way there. Oh, what a super kick. Young charged that one up and just blasted style right in the face. What was that sound? Oh, that was my cat. That was a power bomb. AJ Styles with a nice reversal. Dragging Young. Took a little bit too much time. Receives the back elbows to the midsection. Oh man, AJ Styles is really feeling the pressure. Uh oh. Jesus! like that. He just threw AJ across the arena. Oh my God. He's gonna do it again into the turnbuckles. Jesus Christ! Eric Young is an evil human being. The dragon screw. Oh, here come the strikes from Styles. And once again, phenomenal blitz. blitz. This match grinded him down a little. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good Locking position. Locking a forearm. Just carrying the opposition Young with AJ here. in the cradle. Back first and tossing him down to the mat. Kick to the midsection. And AJ with a float over DDT. Two a sweet, says AJ. Kick to the leg, a second one. Hanging Young up on the middle rope. Now digging his throat into the rope. Young with a shot to the midsection. Irish whip. Jesus, what a... Ba Young is just brutal, man. Every move he's done in this match has been so impactful. AJ reversing the Irish whip. Kick to the face. Oh, moving out of the way of the leaping clothesline. But Young coming back with the arm drag. Going for the kick to the gut. AJ catches the boot. Dragon screw. And now Eric Young rolls to the outside. Oh! AJ with a leaping clothesline of his own. And Styles needs to be careful out there. Look at Jackson. Jackson, you're getting a little too close. And the crucifix. 
stomp to the spine. Oh my god, bouncing Styles' head off the floor. AJ with a takedown. Jackson, I hate you! Oh, okay. Oh, and now when I change it to 20 count, then they... Uh-oh, uh-oh, no, that's a little break. Um, then they start coming back in before 10 after I change the count out to 20. AJ think he, he's got the win right here. One. No. Look at Young's boots. What the hell is that? I don't know. AJ went out to the apron, changed his mind. And Young wrenching the arm. Oh, going for the chop block. AJ, beautiful counter. Oh, and AJ with the bloody Sunday. Right in front of Dane and Riker, but Riker pulling AJ off the apron, getting Eric Young disqualified. Styles with the victory, and Eric Young not going to be too happy with Jackson Riker when they get backstage or when he realizes what's going on, because after that bloody Sunday, he was out of it. That was it for SmackDown Week 11. Uh, match tonight, I would have to give to Rey Mysterio and the Big Red Inspiration. Be sure to let me know what your match tonight was in the comments down below. And remember guys, if you enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Brandon Brandy Bear for both. That would be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will, I will see you next time. And goodbye from Birmingham, Alabama.